Hello, my name is Adonis, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing will your ex return for all of my Gemini out there. So, let's get after it. Okay. Sun, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sun, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Show me cards you need to see. Show me cards you need to see. What type of energies are currently around all of my Gemini out there? What kind of energies are currently around my fellow... All of my Gemini out there. <laughs> Sorry about that. What kind of energy is currently around my Gemini's out there? Show me cards you need to see. Show me cards that I need to see if that feels good. Feels good. Mm. Ooh. Okay. So currently we have someone holding on for assured success. Okay. The Four of Pentacles. They're holding on to a short success. Why? Because there is a twin flame connection that they feel as though they have with you. All right. This person is trying very hard to manifest this belief into existence. So this is the type of person I'm feeling as though this is the type of person that is aware of the um, the law of attraction, if you will. Okay. Uh, this is a person, you'll recognize this person because this person, um, there is a connection that you guys have. Now, rather, it's to the level of a twin flame connection. Time will tell. But there's definitely a connection that you guys do have together. Okay? Uh, and there is something that's tangible there. So this person is just dug in and they're going to hold on to dear life here to ride this thing out because they believe that on the other side of this, it's really going to pay off. Now, with that being said, um, this person here with the Ten of Pentacles, this is either a person, this is a person that's either um, from money, okay? This is a person either from money, so they already have money in their family, or this is a person is uh, that, that has um, a great deal of... Uh, um, a great deal of financial prowess, if you will, um, and there, you know, this type, type maybe like an entrepreneur or or somebody that's very, very good with their pinnacles. In other words, so this person that comes from a family with money, or they're they're very, very good with their pinnacles, so to speak, um, as far as as far as saving and investing and that type of thing. Okay, so they so and this is the, the reason I'm really stressing this is because that's pretty much how you're going to kind of realize how this person did who this person is they're very good with their pentacles very very good with their pentacles at this point just kind of waiting to see what kind of things ripen on that mind this person has put it out there you know how this person feels about you so this is not the first time that you're hearing this is no surprises at all you know who this person is at this point they're just kind of waiting to see how things turn out here all right now there's definitely two clear with the two of wands here there's definitely two clear paths here okay Either this way or that way. But they're choosing to stay the course here. Now, even though they're choosing to stay the course, it doesn't mean that it's not without a certain amount of anxiety here. Nine of Wands. So this is a person that's, you know, um, cautiously optimistic. They're they're trying to, you know, they're they're they're, they're protecting themselves. They're 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 protecting their heart, if if you will. So they're they're a little bit. Um, they're a little bit nervous about 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 uh, how things are going to turn out. You know, if you, if you if if the feelings are going to be reciprocal or not. So they're being with the nine of wands. They're really being very protective, if you will, a, a little nervous, if you will, about you know you know w watching their heart, like watching their back. Like wow, I, I hope I hope that we're both on the same page here. I hope that the connection that I feel like I have with them, they, they feel the same. So they're being very cautious, if you will, about their heart here. So that's what's going on as far as you go. Okay, so let's see what's going on with your ex. What kind of energy is currently surrounding your ex? What kind of energy is currently surrounding your ex? What kind of energies are currently surrounding your ex? What kind of energies are currently surrounding your ex? off to the races so right from the very start kaboom 
Kaboom. Um, sudden upheaval, sudden event. Send everything spiraling all out of control here. Um, this individual that is uh, that is uh, so your 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 ex is currently dealing with it. This this is let me get some clarification on this sudden event here. Give me some clarification on this tower card. Why is this tower card here? Give me some clarification on this tower card. Why is this tower card here? Okay, yeah, so, okay, so we got the Wheel of Fortune here. So the, will, they, the there was this thinking that the Wheel of Fortune was was moving in their favor towards pursuing something, um, a relationship here, but, you know, everything just went to crap real quick. It was a sudden event that kind of changed everything. Now, um, they have done a great deal of thinking and contemplating, okay, on, on, on this situation here. Even, even though the thing kind of... It sent things kind of spiraling all over the place. You know, they've done a great deal of thinking about how they want to proceed with this situation. Um, you know, their wishes would be fulfilled with this individual. There is an aspect of an equal give and take being given here. This person is definitely naturally generous, uh, definitely naturally generous and courteous. So this is they're dealing with an individual that's very civically minded individual here. Um they too are dealing with an individual that comes from money or deals with, or comes from money or um, takes very good care of their pentacles. Uh, and, 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 and this person kind of, you know, is very, very generous with their pentacles. The only aspect here is we have a person with an addiction. So that's that's what the that's where the kaboom part came in at is the fact that this is a person your ex is dealing with someone that. Um, has it has it has has an addiction um opioid or alcoholism addiction here and it's kind of something that kind of took them by surprise okay they're they, they, you know they're happy with the individual they, they could build something with them they feel as though but that addiction has really kind of spun things way out of focus here so with that being the case here let us see what what are the chances of you and your ex reconnecting in some way? Does not necessarily mean in a romantic way, but reconnecting. Open up the lines of communication. What are the chances of you and your ex reconnecting? What are the chances of you and your ex reconnecting? What are the chances of you and your ex reconnecting? Three of Swords. So there was definitely a third-party situation involved here, um, for sure. Um, there was definitely at some point after that there was a there was a hope to try to reconnect, uh, to kind of get back together after the third-party situation happened. But it just caused a lot of turmoil, a lot of heartache. Nine of Swords. A lot of turmoil. A lot of heartache. Uh, a lot of depression. No. So, with that being said, no, you guys are not going to get back together at all this month at all. It's 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 a no go at all. Uh, so, with that being the case, let's see what additional information Spirit wants to give before I shut this thing down. What additional information Spirit wants to give before I shut this thing down? Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> there is definitely a shift taking place within you. Your perspective is being shifted. Your focus is being shifted. So you're, there's there's an, uh, um, an evolution, if you will, of um, your perspective on things. Growth, a shift in the right direction towards growth here. Um, Spirit's also saying continue to stay in motion. Do not stay still. Rather, this thing works out with this potential uh, twin flame situation um, or not. Okay? Continue to move forward. Continue. Can always continue to move forward. Keep moving. That's the key here. Keep moving. Because 
you have a revolution. Things are coming full circle. So um, there was a beginning, there was a middle, and there was an end. And you are at the, um, at this point, you're at the end of the beginning. So something is closing, something, a, a part of your life is being shut down. And I suspect that part of your life that's being shut down is that connection that you have with your ex. Um, you have shifted perspective. You have shifted on to another phase of your life, if you will. So um, there, there is, is no, there's nothing that's left. There's nothing that's there. Um, and you've come full circle as far as revolution, as far as growth goes. So there is no connection that is to be had there anymore. Okay, so with that being said here, I'm going to shut this thing down now. Um, this is a general love reading. Um, it may not resonate with everyone, but if it does resonate with you and you want to know more about this particular situation, the link will be below. Feel free to get a personal reading. If it didn't resonate with you, that's okay too. And you want to know more about your specific situation, again, the link will be below. Make sure you get yourself a personal reading. And as always, if you haven't already, please like, please share, and absolutely subscribe. My name is Adonis. I love you guys, and I will absolutely see you next time. Bye-bye.